Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at different ways to disable or uninstall Microsoft Copilot on Windows 11. So in the operating system Copilot, it's getting a little bit confusing because Microsoft is adding the AI Assistant pretty much everywhere. Now, if you don't like this feature, you can always uninstall it and disable it depending on the application. For example, we have the Copilot app, which is the system that replaces Cortana, which is this one right here. You also have the Microsoft 365 Copilot app, which a lot of people are getting confused because it has the same icon as the Copilot app. And it is actually a portal to access your office apps and other services if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription. However, the actual app doesn't include any AI features. And then you have Copilot integrated into the office apps, such as in Word, as you can see right here. And you also have Copilot inside of Microsoft Edge, as you can see right here on the side, and you notice the button on the top right. Okay, let's dive into the steps to remove Copilot completely from Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything, and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Okay, first, let's look at the steps to uninstall the Copilot app on Windows 11. So to do this, open Star and look for Settings, and then open the app. Then we need to go to Apps, Install Apps, and from here, just look for the Copilot app and click the menu button and click on uninstall and then click the uninstall button again and as you can see now the app has been removed from the system and the icon will no longer appear in the taskbar now let's look at the steps to uninstall the microsoft 365 copilot app so if you have a subscription for the microsoft 365 services to access word excel and other apps it is possible to uninstall the app without having to remove the actual applications because this is independent from the suite of apps so and to do this just open start and again look for settings open the app let's go to apps install apps and from here we're just going to look for copilot and this is going to list the microsoft 365 copilot and from here, just click this button, select uninstall, and click the uninstall button one more time. And now, as you can see, the app has been removed from the system and the icon will no longer appear in the taskbar. Now, if you use Word and Excel, and if you have a Microsoft 365 family or personal subscription, you will also be able to access Copilot from these applications. So let's open Word. Let's open a new document. And as you can see, Copilot will be available from the top right. Now, if you want to disable Copilot on Microsoft Word, just go to File and then open Options. Then go to Copilot, clear the Enable Copilot option, and then click OK to disable the feature. And as you can see, now Copilot will no longer be available. You might also want to restart the app. Now, if you also want to disable Copilot in Excel, do this. Open Star and look for Excel. And then from the main home, just click on Options. Now, if you have a document already open, you can go to File and then Options. Then click on Copilot. And from here, clear the Enable Copilot option. And then click the OK button. And as you can see, this requires to restart the app. Now we just close this and then we reopen Excel. And from here, you can just open a document and you're going to notice that Copilot is no longer available. Now, you also have to repeat the steps on the remaining apps if you want to disable the AI Assistant on those particular apps. For example, if we go to PowerPoint and then we go to Options. Okay, it doesn't appear here, so let me see if I can create a new presentation. Then go to Files, Options, and you see for some reason it wasn't showing up, but now it's right here, the option. And then we just need to clear the Enable Copilot option right there. And then we click OK, and that will disable the AI Assistant on PowerPoint. Now, you can also disable Copilot from Microsoft Edge. And to do that, open the browser and then open this menu and go to Settings. From here, go to Copilot and Sidebar, then click on Copilot and turn off the Show Copilot button on the taskbar. This will disable the shortcut to open the assistant from the top right. Now, if we click the Back button, we are now going to see this option called Show Sidebar button, and we can turn that off as well. And then you will no longer have the option to open the sidebar on the top right, and only the main settings menu will appear. Lastly, it's important to know that you can always go to the Microsoft Store and look for the Copilot app, 
And from here, you can reinstall the app and the same for the Microsoft 365 Copala app. Now, if you want to re-enable the AI feature on the Office apps, you're going to have to go to each of the apps that you disable that particular feature. And then let's just go to Word and then from the same location, make sure to turn on Copala. Click OK, and you might have to restart the application. On Microsoft Edge, open the main menu, go to Settings, Copilot and Sidebar, click on Copilot, turn on this feature, and then Copilot will be available once again on the top right. And that's it. Those are the different ways that you can disable or uninstall Copilot from Windows 11. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that in the only place where you cannot remove the Copilot button is right here on the search experience. This button right here, there is not an option in the operating system to disable this particular button. However, this is just a shortcut to open the Copilot experience on the web browser. It's not Copilot instead of Windows. Now, let me know in the comments if you're planning to disable or uninstall Copilot on your computer. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.